It's your boy Max from Rave Coffee and I'm going to talk you through how to make a French press or a cafetiere, however French you're feeling, however continental your breakfast might be that day. So what we've got here is the wonderful signature blend. It is the OG. It works perfectly for home brewing as well as the espresso that we've got running in-house here. As you can see in my lovely studio here, also doubles as a cafe during the day. Come and join us. So. A cafetiere, I've got enough for your whole family in this one. This one is a litre. Um, we're going to start off by heating up the cafetiere. You don't want your brew cooling down midway through the brewing process. Another thing you're going to need is a set of digital bench scales. They're going to improve your brew game tenfold. So we're going to zero the scales. Once we've got our Cygnus brand, ground to um, cafetiere, which is on the coarser end of the scale. That's because we've got a longer extraction time, larger the pieces of the coffee, longer the extraction time. So we're gonna go ahead and saturate the coffee that we've got in the, um, in the cafetiere. As you can see, my lovely domestic kettle is full of boiling water, just off the boil. And we're gonna go and try and pour slowly and wet as much of the coffee as we can. The nerdy term for this is the bloom, because uh, bubbles of CO2 are coming out. And we want to allow that to happen before we go ahead and fill all the way up to one litre. And conveniently, these Cafe Tiamo scales have got a timer on them. I'm going to hit that and we're going to aim for four minutes. So the bloom has stopped meanwhile. I can tell because the bubbling has stopped. And I'm going to fill up to a litre, so a thousand grams on my scales. I'm going to try and do that without getting water everywhere. Goodness me, I've done myself here. Right, there we go up to a thousand grams. Don't disturb the coffee at all. We're gonna allow that lovely crust to form on the top. This method of brewing is closest to cupping, which is what we do in roasting to uh, sample and to quality control the coffee. And we wanna allow that crust to just sit there and we're gonna leave it for four minutes. There's plenty of things you can do in four minutes, trust me. Yeah. Action. Yeah. At four minutes, we're going to take a spoon and disturb the, the crust is the industry term that's formed on the top. That'll allow all the saturated grains to sink to the bottom of the cup or the cafetiere. So we recommend anywhere up to five minutes to leave it at this stage now. And that is close enough ready to serve. Slowly push the plunger down. The slower you can get away with, not torturously slow, but the, if you push the plunger down like you're trying to unblock your toilet or something, there's just going to be grinds shooting up the side and it's just going to be a gritty mouthfeel and nobody's going to have a good time. So nice and slow, slow and steady wins the race. It just allows you to be mindful with your brew, you know? And, you know, a famous man, Barack Obama, once said, you know, nothing that comes easy is worth it. So I, I, I didn't quote word for word, but yeah, he's on to something there. And here we are, a beautifully prepared cafetiere. Check out all the other brew methods online, ravecoffee.co.uk.